all right guys welcome back to the channel today we're going to be working with this matchbox mercedes truck made in england by lesney as you can see here i bought this i think like a year ago in a swap meet for like three dollars i don't really remember a lot of details here on the body of the car not a lot of details here in the bottom so you can see these old matchbox have a very thick axle and this model right here i've already went ahead and pre-drilled it i have a video on the method i use to drill the cars already pre-drilled it tapped it have a button head screw as you can see it doesn't have anything inside no seats and this front part is plastic with the front grille and the Mercedes emblem here in the front. Luckily this, I'm not gonna remove this one since there's nothing we could do here. And basically um, the only thing I'm gonna do is clean the tires, make, try to make them shiny again. And uh, basically clean all the excess paint has around it and use the chrome pans to try to make all this chrome look brand new now on the inside I have to uh, drill this rivet here holding the windshield and this here in the back I do have to remove it to be able to put the casting inside the paint remover now there, there is a, a couple of methods to remove uh, the axle here. You can basically cut it in half, which will leave you with both ends. And if you look closely, you see how big that end of the axle is. There it is. Now if you flip it, this old matchbox, there's always a side which is smaller. And what we basically can do here is use our Dremel and grind off the vessel around it, which will enable us to slide the wheel off and take everything apart. Now, if I do that, I'm going to need uh, basically a drill press to reform this little head here, which I currently do not have. But up to this point, I'm undecided if I'm going to cut it or if I'm going to grind off the, this end right here. So I guess you're going to find out in the next clip. All right, guys, so here we go. <clears throat> I want to give thanks to the channel Marty's Matchbox Makeover, which is where I learned how to do this. Let me see if I grab it like this. There it is. I'm going to hold this wheel here. Put the other hand, hold the other end, making sure the axle doesn't go and hide and I don't want to damage that tire. This is the tip I'm gonna be using. So I'm gonna turn it on and basically just let it work itself and remove that best. All right. So guys, you just saw how I took this apart. Now, in the event that uh, <clears throat> you don't want to do this, you don't want to take it apart this way. This axle is slightly bent, which now I have the opportunity to fix. But in the event that uh, you don't want to go 
and do use this method right and you prefer to cut it you can cut it down the middle and then to put it all back together all you get all you need is uh, go to the dollar store or any store that you want buy one of these valves fill up a basketball they're usually smaller here in the tip so you're gonna have to cut the tip so you can see it, it doesn't go, want to go in but once you cut it it is the perfect size the axle fits inside perfectly so basically what you can do is cut a piece which is gonna sit right in the middle and you could do one side the other side and the piece of tuning from the valve right in the middle and it's gonna fit perfect and a little dab of glue and that would do it so here's two methods uh, once I uh, fix this asshole and um, repaint everything I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna redo the head here so the wheels don't fall off now it's uh, time to remove the windshield and it's going to the paint stripper all right guys check it out I was finally able to remove 99.99 percent of the paint as you can see uh, this paint is tough very very tough to remove still I can see have some in the crevices here but I guess I'm gonna hit it now with uh, a wire brush or something just to get those last spot and uh, try to get a smoother finish here and surprise surprise look what I just got in the mail very own original trailer that goes with this truck as you can see there Mercedes trailer that's why this hook is for in the back these two are supposed to have like a canopy on top I think it's orange but at this point it's not even worth it trying buying it uh, basically the canopy if I buy two canopies uh, I'll be spending more money for uh, what I spent on these two cars it would have been a lot cheaper if I really wanted to have some like a prestige looking of this version you could find one on eBay for like ten dollars and that's straight out of the box with the canopy and everything you know so I'm just basically doing this for fun they're not worth a lot of money and I just want to give it a brand new look so I gotta take this one apart now and put it and remove the paint also so I could have matching paint on both and once I do that I will be back all right guys check it out so this is how the truck ended up looking as you can see painted it red used uh, Krylon red I used Krylon flat white as a base or primer it does not have a yeah it does have clear coat also made by Krylon I have it painted with a regular enamel spray can in a while so uh, it wasn't as easy as it used to be uh, there's I got used to painting with the airbrush and uh, I was re quickly reminded that with a spray paint there's a lot of paint coming out so you really can't paint up close or you just get a big blob so uh, basically I had to do this one three times and it's not perfect so I am gonna break it down to explain to you what I did as, as you know on the beginning of the video I talked about uh, working with the axles as you can see if you remember this one I had uh, used my uh, Dremel to eat away here at the tip 
and the other ones I had cut so what I did here to put it back was I uh, held everything in place as you can see it uh, lifts a little bit use my Dremel to basically cut a slot that leaves two weak corners one of them broke but the other one is still there I don't know if you can see it then I gently tapped it with a hammer so that little tap could go down and that's basically what's holding the the wheel in place and doesn't allow it to come back off definitely uh, cutting it in half much easier there is the other method with if you have a uh, drill press and the uh, other tools necessary you could basically grind this area and, and make a small head where the the wheel is not gonna uh, fall off or jump out of the axle or, or but yeah, i don't have a drill a press so this method was uh, the only method that uh, I was able to do you can see I painted the leaf strings black and I did some chrome detail on the gas tanks as you can see here the gold I really wanted to do it beige but apparently there's it's very hard to find a beige fine tip marker I went to uh, Michael's and I bought this one here made by Craftmark I uh, did this one first because this one got damaged so I had to strip it and do it all over again and I was able to do all this with one but by the time I got to this again I guess the tip got clogged up and the paint was not coming out of the tip here luckily I had bought two and I was able to finish and I was able to swap the the tip here it comes off like this you can see so since I was I had not used the other one I was able to replace this and use that that tip here that was the only way I was able to finish it so I don't know if it was my fault or it's a faulty marker or something but with this one I did uh, I did realize that um, as you're going by it if you press too hard on it you might start lifting the paint so the tip might be getting clogged up and it might get sealed up and that's why the ink is not coming out so with this one I just every time I used it I try to uh, clean the tip on a piece of white, white paper so as you can see here here's a, on this one like I mentioned at the beginning of the video I used uh, that valve used to uh, fill up basketball or volleyballs you know as you can see uh, it is a little bit shorter on one side I put this side first and I'm you're able to kind of lift it a little bit so I dab a little, little a drop of glue there the, uh, the gel type I use the Gorilla gel type and then align it and come in from this side so as you can see it's in there pretty good and from the outside you still still get the original look now the wheels to make them shiny like this i used uh this product here let me see if it doesn't the pledge revive it floor gloss original you could get this in amazon i'll leave also a link but i'm pretty sure that uh, any product that's used to shine floors it's basically gonna work the same thing same way I also used it on the windshields as you can see there it is a little bit shiny uh, this part here 
when I let me take it apart as you can see it, it I thought it had paint from the original paint so I started cleaning it with uh, acetone and it turns out that this plastic part is the same color as the original color of the truck so I used uh, the chrome pen to cover up all where it was scratched up or you know it wasn't looking real good and uh, I think it turned out pretty good on these uh, what I did was I used a uh, q-tip and uh, dabbed it and just got this real wet with the floor shine and just set it to the side and uh, let it dry it does take a little bit of time to get it dried this one the when they were off I would, you know I had a, a little cup or a plastic tote where I drop uh, some of the floor shine so I drop each wheel individually and just put them in a napkin and of course you if you grab them grab them by a put a little uh, plier or something put them on a napkin and then flip them because you're gonna have a lot of uh, uh, you're gonna have a puddle here on the on this side of the wheel and it will dry pretty quick as you can see I use also gel here for the windshield so like I was saying I use the gel here with any type of glue don't close up the car you know wait until it dries up quickly because it you, you're gonna get that white from the fumes so just let it breathe a little bit before you close the car back up overall you know it's not perfect but i do uh i do like how it, uh, it turned out it was uh very interesting working with this old uh, matchbox here definitely a different type of die cast to work on let me uh, a comment let me know what you think before i go next uh, matchbox restoration video you get to choose you either want to see this truck or this Ferrari leave me a comment let me know which one you'd rather see first and I'll make it happen so here is the truck, a little bit of close up here. And I need to take a picture here for Instagram or Twitter. You can follow me on Twitter also. Same uh, name here as YouTube. I really like how this red turned out it gives me uh, like a vibe of Christmas I don't know about you so here it is guys just bear with me here for a second while I place this uh, that should be good enough all right guys so thank you for watching remember to subscribe hit that little bell so you don't miss any videos and Peace out.